Good afternoon. I'm Alexa Morales, and I'm here at Oracle Code 1 in San Francisco, and I'm joined by Caleb Curry. Hello, everyone. Thank you for having me. Yeah, welcome, Caleb. Um, we're really excited to have you here because uh, you're you're kind of a, a big deal on YouTube. <laughs> yeah, I know. Not, not to brag or anything, but <laughs> yeah, thank you. Um, I'm glad to be here. It's the first time in San Francisco. And lots of new stuff here for me. So yeah, and so I mean, I I boned up a little bit on on uh, some of your videos. You have the uh, all sorts of tutorials. So you've got Java tutorials. You've got uh, Apex tutorials. Um, yeah, pretty much everything. <laughs> I have um, 1,200 videos now. So uh, too much free time, probably. <laughs> right. And so so how many years have you been uh, been doing this? So I really started. Uh, about 10 years ago, actually, but I didn't really get into the technical content until like seven or so years ago, right. and just recently really focusing on it, and that's like my full-time gig, at least for right now. So. Right, and I saw a video recently where you were, it was actually a funny skit with your dad, and you were <laughs> uh, unveiling your... Uh, 100,000 100, uh, subscribers on YouTube featuring dad, who has been a big supporter, as well as my mom, but... Yeah, that was a funny twist. It was... Um, <laughs> Definitely uh, interesting to have him on there because I, I wouldn't expect him to do it. But yeah, that was, that after, was after I begged him a while, he did it. So yeah, a hundred thousand—that's that's definitely uh, you know a major accomplishment. And you know what I find really interesting since I cover developer topics and developers is you know you're you're forging this new pathway as kind of a tech influencer, you know, on a platform and and you're on the younger side, you know, I think you must, you know, you must be inspiring a lot of people. Do you hear people wanting to do what you're doing in any way? Yes, yeah, all of the time. And, I mean, the key thing, like, there's nothing super special about me. The main thing is, you know, I found a platform that I enjoyed creating content on, and I stuck with it for a long time, and I believe I'm offering value to lots of people. So, when it comes to, like, establishing your career, Maybe you can go like just work a job and that's it. But maybe on the side you want to do some social media or create content in some way. It, it just you just got to stick to it and it builds up over time. Right. I mean, have you ever? This is kind of a weird question, but have you ever kind of gotten in trouble based on something you said in a YouTube video? <laughs> uh, I don't know if trouble is the right word, but lots of lots of questions with like, oh, should I say this or is this is this copyright or like is this going to be an intellectual property issue with some companies you know but nothing nothing too crazy right and and rolling it back to your background i mean what's your background in tech yeah so uh where i come from there there isn't a whole lot of tech so i i just started learning it kind of on my own with some influence from a friend and some family members uh so i just started reading and when i created the youtube videos uh, I wasn't like a senior software engineer or anything. I was just some dumb kid, honestly. But like, the, but the you have worked for IBM. <laughs> yeah, and that that was in a of a of a more like a technical. Uh, I don't know the word like so, social media okay. and, and technical speaking right. role, um, but still technical content. And I've also had various development jobs since then. But YouTube was kind of the, the start of it all. Right, um, and. I didn't have anything too crazy to offer, but the one thing I did have to offer was I found a topic that was not covered well on YouTube, and I broke it down for my own understanding and shared that with the rest of the world, and people started to like it. So what was that particular topic? You mean tech in general or a specific well, the, part the of it? the specific niche that I started with was database design, ah. which is... It, it's not so so crazy un, under taught now, but back back when I started, I was one of the few videos on YouTube covering that. Right. So I mean, if you look up database design, I, I'll show up like that's and that's, that's me. great. I mean, actually, ironically, we're we're here. You know, this week there's a ton of a database focus. Yeah. And and so now, so you started with database design, and then all these years later, uh, you come up with some Apex tutorials. Yeah. My focus has shifted, and. I'm still trying to figure out, you know, what I really want to focus on. But the main thing I know is that I, I love creating the content and I love developing in, in an individual setting. So building my own apps and right. uh, studying. I, and I saw, so I watched your video with your wife. It was very <laughs> cute. And you were talking about, um, I guess, how your business is going, which is also very inspiring as an entrepreneur, you know, what, what you're doing. Um, but then you said something crazy, like you had uploaded 100 and 
Oh, yeah. Something videos yeah, in one was, day? That was insane. Uh, yeah, so throughout the, the years, there's been times I would upload like a large series covering all the fundamentals of Java, for example. I have 100 videos on Java. Wow. And I, I uploaded those uh, in, in a really quick pace. So <laughs> right. <laughs> um, I'm trying to shift away from that and more focus on content that people are going to come back every week, which is why I've started releasing like the shows and uh, talking more about entrepreneurship. And right. And what's the most unusual question that you've gotten so far? <laughs> unusual? Oh, I, I don't have Or any, alternatively, I, I what's the most common question you get just among your comments? Yeah, honestly, it's just how to get started, uh -huh. uh, which, you know, there's tons of content out there, but it still seems like that's the biggest barrier. Right. And people will talk about it and try to decide what language to use for forever. Right. But the, the biggest thing is to just get started. So do you see, start coding. Yeah. Do you, do you see a progression as people watch the videos where they go like, uh, you know, it, it's easy stuff and then they start to drop off as it gets harder and oh, harder? Yeah. So if I do a series, like video one will be like super viral or however you want to say it. And then video two will have like half as many views. And then it just goes downhill from there. <laughs> So you know, I, I think that's how life is, though, in general. Yeah, I don't know if it's just it gets too hard or just people don't have the, the focus or just people follow the numbers and then stop watching. So. Right. So, so um, to, to wrap it up, what's, you know, what's next for you after 100,000 subscribers on uh, your channel? What's, what's on the horizon? Uh, I'm going to get a million. <laughs> and nice. uh, I'm going to do that uh, really quickly. Really? So, yeah. Are you serious? <laughs> well, that's my goal. Nice. <laughs> Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm so growing. So PewDiePie, watch out. Oh, yeah, PewDiePie, he's, <laughs> he's messaging me every day telling me to slow down. Like, it's pretty crazy. Uh, <laughs> no, I'm just playing. But uh, getting about 300 subscribers a day. So it's going pretty quickly. So, wow. Uh, yeah. Watch out, people. Well, I'm great. coming for you. <laughs> well, thank you so much for joining me. If you if you want to find Caleb, he's very easy to find on the, the interwebs on YouTube. Yeah, just search Caleb Curry and... I'll come up. <laughs> Great. Well, thank you for joining me here at Oracle Code One, Caleb. And yeah. thanks for watching Graham Bigger's Live. Peace out. See you in the next one.